Nope. It's way too cold. Again? We're already here. <laughs> but I'm a fool and I didn't oh dress for the God. weather. Just oh. use that. But then we'd have to sit on the ground. You want to spend date night at home? No, but let's just sit in here. We have the view and the company. Okay. 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 Thank you. that song and listen to it at home you know i'm very particular about what music can play in henry honda fine you can pick and we can compromise no music Would you rather only be able to listen to music from any 10 year span of your choosing or be able to listen to new music but only if it's been released in the past year? Past year? <laughs> yes. No, 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 no. Okay. 85 to 95 for the Smiths and Cocteau twins alone. That's fair. Favorite Smith song? And there is a right answer. This charming man. Which one? The John Peel session. Okay. I'll give you that one. No. Will you? Yeah. What's yours? Heaven knows I'm miserable now. <laughs> Interesting choice. I was looking for a job, and then I found a job, and heaven knows I'm miserable now. Sound familiar? <laughs> You're so melodramatic. What? Your job's not that bad. Easy for you to say. I'm just glad you had that interview the other day. Now when you get the job, I can just relax and be a house husband. You would hate that. True. <laughs> Plus you're a terrible cook. I'd order takeout. No way. You are not to be trusted after what oh you put us through. Oh my god, I know you're not bringing up the day. damn hot dog stand again. It was so disgusting. The sign said they were the best dogs in Kansas. Well, now you know to read the reviews instead. Ugh, how are they not going to put the real reviews on the sign? That whole trip was a disaster. There were good parts. Yeah. Yeah, leaving. <laughs> <laughs> and when we raced in that TJ Maxx parking lot. That was nice. Huh. I'm really surprised that your defeat is such a pleasant memory for you. Excuse me? I specifically remember crossing the finish line first. Faye, are you okay? Are you okay? No, really, are, are you all right? You know I won that race. I guess we'll never know the truth. Unless... We can figure it out. Right now. Hurry up, Graham! I'm freezing! Coming, my love. Okay. <laughs> hey, this is racer interference. True athlete can stay focused no matter what. You ready? Okay. Three, two, one.
I heard this story on NPR the other day. Just listen. So there's this woman who was really struggling after she graduated, right? Couldn't get a job in her field, worked nights as a waitress, uh, was barely making rent. And I think her boyfriend had also just broken up with her. I don't know. Okay, got your break. Right? Anyway, one day, she was just so frustrated, she started crumpling up all these resumes that she had printed out. Um, but she was a super meticulous person, so she started getting really anxious, seeing all this uh, paperwork balled up on her floor. Naturally. So she smooths one out and folds it into a little paper boat. And she finds it really soothing, so she ends up just folding all her resumes and then gets really into it, coating them in wax, adding little flags and everything, and then takes them down to the river and lets them all float away. So she just gave up on trying to find a real job? Yeah, pretty much. But a couple weeks later, she gets a call from this guy saying he found her resume and that she'd be a good fit for a job they have open. And then next week she's employed with basically her dream job. <laughs> that's, in that's insane. I mean, yes, but also, isn't it indicative of like how you rarely get what you want through traditional paths? I think this is the exception, not the rule. But what if I did just that? Threw out all the resumes? <sighs> Graham, you're the only one of us who's employed right now. <laughs> I know it's hard. But just give it time. I know. Just dreaming. The water's really pretty tonight. Yeah. It's almost like a painting. Have you been painting recently? No, not really. No. I have been writing a little though. Yeah? Yeah, a couple of poems. I thought you were gonna try to write a novel. I mean... I was thinking about it, but I just felt really inspired to write poetry recently. I just think there are better ways for you to spend your free time. Noted. What's wrong? Nothing. Jay, come on. I'm just, I'm just tired of being made to feel like the things that I like are stupid. That's not what I said. Okay. Let's just head back. So what, are you just gonna ignore me all night? Here you go with that fucking song, though. 
If it bothers you that much, feel free to leave. She speaks? Fuck you. What's your problem, Faye? I already told you. You act like only the things that you like have value, and everything I like, you find stupid. I never said that. You didn't have to. We listen to the music you like. We watch the movies you like. You think poetry isn't worthwhile. Because it's not. You want to make me out to be the bad guy? Then fine, I'll be the bad guy. I think you're a talented writer, Faye, but you're wasting your talents writing poetry no one will read or care about. I know you love me, Graham. But I really don't think you like me. Oh, come on. No, I, I, don't, I don't see how you could. Of course I like you, Faye. Of course I like you. I just think you're being irrational right now. You know what I think? What? I think you have to be so pretentious about all this shit because you can't actually do anything creative yourself. So you cling to other people's art and you make it your whole fucking personality. I didn't get the job. Oh, Faye. I'm sorry. Hey, how are you holding up? I'm okay. Really? Faye. I mean, it sucks. But it's just one job. There were the others. Yeah. Are you mad? Not about the job?
Krim. I'm really sorry for what I said. I was trying to hurt you. I'm so ashamed to be saying that, but it's true. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be someone who causes you pain. And I didn't mean it. I think I was just so upset because I was really looking forward to showing you what I had written. Uh, this is your idea of an apology? What? You tell me I can't do anything creative and then try to show me your work? To what, rub it in? Graham, you haven't even heard it. I don't need to, it won't change anything. What you said didn't just come out of nowhere, Faye. That's how you see me. No, that's how you see you. I need some air. I fell in love with you on the Palisades, next to you, stenciled in the passing whispers of sun, in the music spilling out of half-cracked speakers, in the lingering trace of hand-baked croissants. With you, I am surrounded. Hey, Faye. Hi, Graham. Um, would you mind coming to sit in here? 
okay? I'm really sorry, Faye. I get really excited about the things that I like, excited to share them with you. Um, but I'm gonna start being equally excited about the things you like too. Graham, you can't just flip a switch and start being a different person. That's not how it works. I know. And I'll probably say something shitty a month from now. Or even a week from now. But what I'm saying is that I'm gonna try to be better. Okay. This is me trying. Ha, ha, ha.